What's up, Two-Face Gang? Get your brother, the Gemini, here back with another freaking video, man. If you haven't seen the thumbnail or the title, I'm going to be explaining on how I feel or how I've been feeling. Basically, how I've just been feeling in general. If you want to, you know, stick around while I'm explaining how I am or whatever. But if you're not, you know, you can leave. You know, I only want positive and supportive people who's going to leave me. Like, you know, some inspiring and some encouraging motivating words to find the video after it's done or whatever but basically i don't want this video to be too too long but if it's too too long um you know i just want to say sorry in advance so i wrote down some little notes from off the back i'm sorry for what i'm gonna say i know a lot of y'all probably look at me like oh he just is inspiring this encouraging this motivating this no just stop it please but hopefully this don't like make y'all like look at me any differently, you know. But if y'all do, it's okay. It's my life. Fuck it. <laughs> so I'm um, how I feel. I'm depressed as fuck. It's more so not that I'm depressed. Is <laughs> your voice suicidal? <laughs> it's not funny, but it is what it is. Um, I feel like I'm not living i feel like i'm existing if you understand what i'm saying it's like bro you're 19 why am i stressing like i'm old and even when i get old i still don't want to stress you know a lot i just feel like i'm not living i'm not doing my part i'm not doing anything that i want to do in this world because i feel like i fucked up my life ever since i got this car note yeah i needed a oh sorry yeah i needed a car note i mean yeah i needed a car i could have got a cash car but Cash cars come with problems. A lot of problems. So I just said fuck it and got a car note. It was cool in the beginning until it was like I wasn't making enough money or like I wasn't really going to work. I didn't really want to go to work. I wasn't motivated to work. I was, you know, missing days, not going. You know, money started looking real funny. And so, you know, it was times where like it was hard for me to pay my car notes. Or whatever the case may be. Whatever. So that's where I feel like I fucked up at because I really can't do what I want to do because the majority of my money that I do get goes to my car note. So, um, uh, I hate my body. Seriously. As majority of y'all know, that I've been big majority of my life. And bully for being big for the majority of my life. You know, kids are fucking mean, bro. They are. Um, you know. So I just hate my body. My body, it fluctuates. It'll go up, down, up, down, up, down. And I, now I feel like my body is just stuck at this weight. And I can't get it down for nothing. For nothing. But <laughs> it is what it is. Like, I really don't care about being fat. It's just my chest area because, you know, I was being bullied. Like, oh, your titties. Speaking in minds. Why are your chest so big for you to be a boy? Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, that. And, you know, um, just different stuff like that. So that really made me, like, hate my body. Because at first, I didn't really even look at my chest like that. To be, like, to be completely honest with y'all, I ain't never really, really just looked at my chest like that until people started picking on me about my chest. Same goes for my stomach. Until people started picking on me, oh, you you fat, you getting fat, da da da, this is that. It was like, I don't know. I already got three strikes in society. I'm black, fat, and gay. So it don't make me feel any good about being me or whatever. And being gay has been so fucking hard, especially like um, finally, you know, living my truth or whatever and it's been so hard it's draining to be confident every day knowing people don't like you or people looking at you differently people like just don't you know like you for being you or whatever the case may be um but yeah that shit is draining it's tiring seriously i don't know why i care about what people think of my sexuality like i really don't know why i genuinely do but it's just like i just it comes with me being a people pleaser or whatever. It's just I genuinely feel or I always wonder like why people don't like me. Like I'm I'm outgoing, I'm a loving, caring, funny, whatever you can think of of a guy, but it's like shit. Once males and sometimes females find out 
I'm gay, so it's like, oh, like, oh my gosh, like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what it is, I don't know, I don't know why, I'm just tired, like, mentally, emotionally, physically, physically, why I'm tired, because sometimes, you know, some of y'all know I work, I work at a fucking warehouse, it's fucking exhausting, they do not care about you at all, they don't care about your mental, physical they just care about numbers and quality that's all they care about they do not give two fucks about the people they say they do they say they care for us you know if you ever need us da, da, da. No, y'all don't y'all don't sometimes i'll be motivated to work like sometimes i work like 50 60 hours and then sometimes i work shit barely my 25 to 40 hours a week so i'm fucking overwhelmed but like a lot of stuff, like a lot, bro. And I'm here to tell y'all, I don't want to tell you, but it's like I'm overwhelmed by a lot. But I'm just, I'm just stressed out. I'm too young to be feeling like this. Why am I feeling like shit? Uh, I'm an overthinker. I overthink about a lot of stuff. So when the shit happens, it's like, well, <laughs> I already did overthink it. So it's like I already didn't put myself in a predicament. I already put myself in that headspace of, oh, Blah, 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 or somebody such such gonna do this to me. Then when they do it, it's like, you was right. I'm a fucking mess. <laughs> I'm a mess. But yeah, I still try to put a smile on my face. At least every day, whatever. It be hard sometimes to put a face, put like a fake smile on. Like even going home, like it just, I be so tired and I feel like, I just need a break from everybody and every fucking thing. Literally, I just need a break. Like, I just need a fresh start. I need a, a redo or something. I just, I just don't know. My mindset has been changing a lot, seriously. I don't have energy to be around certain things and people, like people, oh my gosh. I just completely cut myself off from a lot of my friends, seriously. I don't hang out with them like I used to. I don't like text them. I don't call them. But it's like once you show me that first, I'm gonna match energy, basically. Because at a certain point in time, if you constantly keep doing that, you're going to be draining yourself. You're gonna be draining yourself because it's like, why am I always calling? Why am I always texting? Why am I always asking to do this? Why am I always doing this? You see, you're always asking, you're always asking yourself why. So it's basically like Damn, do they really fuck with me or do they not fuck with me? And if they do fuck with me, it's like, damn, they go hang out with everybody else and their mama, but don't even ask me if I want to do anything. And it's just like, it comes to us at a point where you don't even want to be watering dead fucking plants because they're not going to grow at all. I'm just at a point in my life where if it's draining me, I'm not going to entertain it. If it's fighting with my peace of mind and happiness, I'm just not going to deal with it at all. <laughs> at all. I'm not going to deal with it at all. Like, I don't know. I used to be the type of person who was like, used to always beg and cry and whine. Like, oh, like, why are we not friends no more? Why you don't want to be friends with me? Like, what did I do wrong? This is that. Is there anything that I can fix? Is there anything I can buy you? Is there anything that, you know, things like that. Comes with being a people pleaser. Fucking hate that shit. But luckily, I'm not that anymore. Um, yeah. Um, I really hate being suicidal. Because depressed, like, oh, I'm at the point where I'm suicidal as fuck. Like, any given moment, I just want to just skirt <laughs> or sing or just, you know, <laughs> hang myself or whatever the case may be. Um, but it's like I want to go get help, but then I'm scared they're going to put me in them fucking socks. Like, I don't want them to put me in them socks, and it's like I'm not going to get out. Seriously, that's another reason why I don't go to therapy or haven't started therapy at all. So, oh, the sun trying to go down on me, but yeah. Um, oh my gosh, the sun is really trying to sit on me, but I'm tired of living for others. Seriously. That's how I feel like I'm living my life. I'm not living for myself. I'm living for others. I'm living for like my brothers, my mom, my friends, 
shit people at work because they always tell me like you don't know what you do for other people at work they may not tell you but you do a lot like your smile your laugh your whistling you dancing you having like uh just a lot it's just i don't fucking know it comes to a point where it gets draining because like where is me for me you know it's like i'm being there for everybody else but where are people there being for me they even made any fucking sense anyways but it's just like why do i have to be there for people why there's no people out there like that for me you know it's probably like a few people but they are like this temporary so it's like what the fuck <laughs> So it's like it, it gets to a point where it's draining. Like it's like I can never have like a bad a bad day or like a sad day. It's like people expect me to come to work all happy, cheery, and just shit. Like I don't have other emotions, you know. Um, I wanted to dye my hair like almost every other week, but as you guys don't know, I dyed my hair blue and green. Thought that was going to make me feel special or whatever. I still feel the fucking same. I got my hair done, got my hair cut. I'm thinking that's going to like bring out something even more if you can, if you can understand, you know. Um, but I really still feel the same. I still feel like shit. <laughs> I thought getting my hair done and my hair cut and my you know hair you know dye was gonna bring out something more, but it I mean got nothing. But still a sad ass bitch. I'm trying to lose weight <laughs> for the millionth time. You know I've been saying I wanted to go to the gym for the past five six years. <laughs> I just shit don't have the courage or don't have the time to do it. You know. Like, gaining weight for me is so much easier because I have a slow metabolism. So, that weight is going to stick to me. So, and I do shit like this. Like, get piercings, get tattoos, and, you know, a piercing fucked up my ear. You know, just different shit like that. I get, I get tattoos and I get piercings to make me feel pain. You know, instead of going to the gym and feel pain so that's my way of coping of feeling pain is just doing shit like this like this tattoo i didn't even fucking want but i was just sad as fuck so i get it and i really don't even like this tattoo so um bro i be trying to go on trips but i'm a broke hoe like every time when i get a job job every time i get paid that shit goes i have to spend it on something let's spend it on something um, I barely got any friends. Seriously. Now I can say I don't got no fucking friends. I really don't. 50% is, no. No. 15% is my fault, and the rest is theirs. Because I'm, I'm a dope, genuine, real-ass friend. Seriously, but, you know, people love just playing with all of me. But it comes to a point where I get exhausted of people, too. Like, talk to them either every day, being around them every day, or being like, I don't know, I was with them. It just exhausts me. It drains me. It's like, damn, I can never get a break from you. And it's like, when I want a break from you, it's a problem. I'm like, you know, it's just shit like that. Like, I don't, I don't know. I'm trying to get famous on YouTube, but it's like, I'm not getting the support at all. Now I'm getting support here and there, but it's like, I'm not getting the support. Like, I'm thinking and I'm wishing I'm going to get. I'm trying to get TikTok famous. But that shit is hard as fuck. They want you to post 25-8 to get famous. Or they want you to post some relatable stuff. Dancing, tutorials, makeup, hair, clothing. It's just a lot of different things. So it's like trying to find your niche on TikTok is fucking hard. Clearly my niche is being sad because that's the only shit that blows up on my damn page. Me being sad. So um, trying to move out of my... I don't want to say toxic, but once upon a time it was a toxic household. Now it's just, I'm just there, you can say. I don't know. So I'm trying to move about that household, I'm trying to start my own life, I'm trying to just do shit that I ain't never really get to do. But but then, but then majority of the time, I, you know, my anxiety and my depression really takes a toll so I don't do nothing at all so can't really blame the household but I really can I don't know if I'm gonna give y'all a whole rundown of my house but if you're my close friend you know
kind of sorta, but I'm not gonna give you a whole run out. It's a whole nother video for a whole nother day. <laughs> Just saying, being the oldest fucking sucks. <laughs> I really do. Uh, what else did I say? I'm trying to get my mental health together, but I keep falling in that suicidal and depression state. <laughs> yeah. Just keep falling into it. I can't shake out, or I can't shake back, or I can't do anything to make me feel happy. Like, I can't find no happiness. I can't find no joy in nothing that I do. Literally. That's why I take breaks from YouTube, because, like, I don't know. I'm not happy with the shit no more. And I don't know. Um. And like I said, I'm trying to finish paying off my car note. I have $10,000 left on my car note. My car was like, I think it was like $15. $15,000, $16,000, I paid the $6,000 off. Now I got $10,000 left to finish paying off of here. So if anybody want to cash at me, and I will put it to my car now, I'm not even going to sit here and lie to y'all. I don't really ask people for money or beg people for money, but it's like, shit, if you want to help me finish paying off my car now so I can live my life, my car, car no, my uh, cash tag is Pathogen I'm one. I'll put it on the screen or whatever. You don't just want to put anything to it. Because, like, I'm trying to get this car note down. And then, oh, my gosh, I'm in the job that I fucking hate. Oh, oh my gosh, I hate this fucking job. I've been at this job for, like, a year now. It's been a year and a month, and I hate it. Oh, my gosh. It's like they don't allow me to move up or anything. And I've been there for a year, and I know majority of the stuff that goes on at work, but they don't give two fucks. They don't. So, I've been having that, that state where just get fired or get terminated or just not show up anymore. But it's like, I need the money. I need it now. <laughs> um, what else? I'm in a phase where I just don't care no more. I don't care about family. I don't care about friends. Shit, I don't even care about myself. <laughs> I don't even care about myself no more. I think I big bro i didn't got big like when i say i got big i got big i'm fucking 320 pounds when have i ever been that big like be for real like i mean like at the low 260 270 and then i used to go to 280 then i used to go that back down to 270 and then go down to 260 then go back to 290 and then after i've been to 290 and then i got 300 it's just like shit and i mean i'm gonna be on my 600 pound life nah i'm just playing i don't want to i don't want to but it's going to be a point where I'm going to be, you know? Um, and once upon a time, I stopped taking care of myself. Like, when I say I stopped getting my hair cuts, I started getting my hair done, I stopped doing my hair. It was just, I used to walk around like I did not love myself. Like, I literally was walking around like I was going through it. Literally. And it's not like people didn't recognize. It's just that they didn't give a fuck. They didn't. They didn't care at all. So... <laughs> it is what it is, you know. Um, I stopped taking myself out on date, like dates. I used to take myself to the movies and to go eat sushi or just, you know, go out on dates and regularly. I stopped doing that shit. The last time I did it was what? Let me see when the last time I did it. You know, I made a little YouTube video on it. Last time I did that was... Oh, it's just been a month ago. Really? Not a month. It's been like almost two months because, you know, I like to record videos and sometimes I procrastinate. So it's really been like two months since I did something for myself. Like, yeah. Um, I just stopped caring about my health. I stopped giving a fuck. Vitamin D low. I'm finna be diabetic. Um... Shit, I'm overweight. It's like I went to the doctor for that too. The doctors, you know, told me the same thing. You're pre-diabetic, you have high blood pressure, um, high cholesterol, your vitamin D low, this, this, and that. And it's like they put me on weight loss pills, and then weight loss pills made me feel like shit, bro. It made me so disgusted with food. It was like when I took the pills, it was like it made me not want to eat. And if I did eat, I felt disgusted and I wanted to throw up, or it made me shit. So, yeah. But um, just going with the flow. That's how I'm really going until I die, you know, basically. I'm just going with the fucking flow. I don't have no plan. I don't. Um, I just want to disappear and never come back. But I also want to move to a different state and start a new life. So if you know, you know. But if you don't know, I want to move to a different state. I got three, four different options where I want to move to. 
I'm not telling you guys that because, you know, I may have some negative people who's watching me and they probably be depending on my downfall. So I don't want to live in Texas no more. Texas fucking sucks to me. It does. There's shit. There's nothing out here for me. It's really not. Maybe I haven't really did too much exploring out here and probably get some stuff out here. But to be honest, like me, it ain't nothing out here for me. Just familiar faces. That's fucking it. But the only reason why I haven't just up the move because I'm fucking scared. Because like, what if I get out there and, you know, one, I don't like it. Two, something goes wrong and I don't have no family. Well, shit, I ain't got no family now. But, you know, it's a family to fall back on or whatever. And it's like, <sighs> yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> I reached a stage in my life where I just no longer cry when people leave my life. Like friends and family, like boys say, I used to be a crybaby about when people like stop wanting to mess with me or stop wanting to be my friend, stop wanting to be my family member or whatever, just anything like that. Like now, because either I overthought it or it's just I was already emotionally done. I was done from a long time ago, from a very long time ago. So it's like if they leave, they leave. Cause you ain't gonna lie to me, even in blind to see that you wasn't even gonna ride for me. So, <laughs> so it is what it is. Um, my mind and my heart is always at a constant battle, bro. It really is. Like, my heart be like, fuck them. Be heartless. But my mind be like, no, that's not the type of person you are. You are loving, caring, supportive. Text them, call them. But as I like, come to a certain point, it's like, when did they hit up my phone to do the same thing? You know? When do they do that for me? <laughs> they fucking don't. They don't. And I'm in a mindset where I just want to delete Instagram for good. Um, ooh, my, my camera getting hot. Delete Instagram for good. Um, damn near unadd everybody on fucking Snapchat because boy, I've been having Snapchat since sixth grade. So, do y'all even rock with me still? Like, be fucking for real. Do y'all even rock with me? No, y'all do not. Yeah, and, and it's like I want a boyfriend, but it's like they don't fucking want me. And it's hard being a gay male because you don't know who the fuck is gay. Okay, let me not say that. You do know, but at the same time, it's a lot of DL and undiscovered, undiscovered, un undercover men out here. So they're not going to say nothing until you say something. And if you say something, especially if you're not a pretty gay or slim down big booty or big you know private part down there or if you know how to do a little sucky sucky or you want to get plunged they're not really gonna really you know rock with you like that so i just want somebody who's there mentally physically and emotionally for me and it's hard because people want to be whores nowadays like why my generation want to be whores i know in our parents generation it was some whores but them whores got together and had kids or whatever you know they loved each other through thick and thin but it's like, damn, it's hard out here, especially with all the gay diseases that's going on. Not gay diseases, but the diseases that you can get. You get more diseases from being gay because, you know, you're getting it from behind or, you know, from your throat or whatever, anything like that. So it's just, I don't know. I'm just sick of being people with second choices in life. Like, I'm never nobody's first choice in anything that people do. It's always, oh, I should have asked you or, oh. Damn, I was going to ask you, but I forgot. Or, oh, this is that. But, oh, 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 it's always O's. Or, oh, I should have. Or, I should have did this. I should have did that. But it's like, I'm never nobody's fucking first choice in, in anything in life. Not just in this certain point. It's just my whole time life. Timeline. Time life. Whatever. Whatever. So, I know I was probably a little bit all over the place. Everywhere. But, I'm going to go give me some Chipotle. Because <laughs> I've been craving it all day today at work. But, Hopefully you guys can understand how the fuck I've been feeling lately and why I feel like shit and why I want to die. Y'all probably not going to understand why I want to die, but it's, it's just like why I just feel like shit. So, hopefully you guys can understand a little bit more about me getting a little deeper. This is my first and final time being vulnerable with y'all because it will never happen again. So, I just want to say... Bye to face the gang. Make sure you guys subscribe. Like the video, turn on your post notification, click that bell to notify every time your boy finger post and I'm out. Bye. And I love you guys. Oh, and I need to do my mental note. Note. My mental note is 
Trust your journey. No matter how many detours we take or delay we encounter, we will always be there to lead back to where we are meant to be. Bye.